viewers just like to do a video on my new transformer I uh, have it a few days now I did a video when I first got it but I'm not really happy with the quality of it so I'm gonna redo it say 10 kVA 34,500 volt uh, Y, 19920, so it's a coil voltage of 19920. As you can see, those bushings are freaking huge. I brought uh, my 13.2 kV transformer outside just as a size comparison, and it is utterly ridiculous. Um, this transformer here puts out a stupid amount of power. This is just a pretty ignorant amount of power here. This here is about a, uh, like a 5 to 25 kVA can. Uh, my power company has tons of these style transformers around. Because uh, they use a 13.2 system also. And uh, when I picked this up, I couldn't believe it. This is like a 50 to 75 kVA can. And here I'll an iPhone out on the hanger just to show that's it's just a big pig when I went to pick it up they weighed it and like that 5 kV there that weighs 280 pounds they put this on a scale and it weighs 510 pounds, so it's a pretty freaking big unit. It does not have a ring to secure the cap on like uh, all the other Solomon Transformers I've seen. This, they put a uh, eye bolt and a huge tank with these ribs on the top. It's pretty cool looking. Let's take a look at these bushings. I uh, put a tap changer on here, which is really nice. I didn't uh, request it, but I guess they just put it on anyway. I What I didn't do is I didn't exclude it when I ordered it, so that's probably why they put it on. But I can go up to around 20, 21,000 volts and back down to 17. I'm just keeping it in the middle. So they have a really nice design. I pull the cap off, and then on the outside, you scale up or down. Uh, unlike the Power Partners transformer that I have, this is a lot better design. They have a another one, which is a 7200 by 14400. You have to use a screwdriver, and it's, it's awful. So that's a lot nicer. Yes, that did a size comparison. And that should do some works. Okay, now I'm ballasting to around 30 amps at 120 volts. And, uh, just touching the transformer it has this deep uh, 60 hertz hum and uh, you can kind of hear it from like 10 feet away it's awesome but unfortunately the camera tries to filter that out so can't really get it for YouTube but now this is the H1 terminal I have the chicken stick too so technically speaking I should be using the uh, H2 terminal because that's usually connected to ground but it's okay I guess so no resonant capacitor straight off the pig.
if that camera's gonna pick it up either, but there's a ton of Corona. So, a lot of power there, a lot of voltage. Chicken stick down. And the uh, one inconvenience that I uh, noticed with the dual bushing is that they are not live to ground. You can ground one of those out, but they have a capacitance to ground. So if I were to touch that chicken stick to the tank, it would probably burn through the paint and mess it up. So. I should try a Jacob's Ladder. Thing with a dual bushing transformer is that you could do a really easy Jacob's Ladder, even though I'm not really a... I never really liked, found Jacob Ladders fascinating, but they're pretty cool to do once in a while. Like, uh, and the Variac Maniac has a 14.4 uh, kV dual bushing transformer, and uh, it's the dual bushings there is kind of what inspired me to get this one. I think the dual bushings with high voltage do look awesome. The big bushings, uh, for some reason I just like uh, single bushings on the lower voltages, but let's uh, try to shake the ladder out. Before I cook that MOT up, as you can see, it's smoking pretty good there. So I'd turn it off. But that's about it for this video. Catch you in the next one.